6704 Manchaka, Unit 16. This is the end of the back left of the complex. It's a gated community with two car garages. Looks like on, well, most of them, some of them have one car garages. That might be a two bedroom next door. Um, a little bit of a yard. This one's painted green and white. These people are putting a cool little vine. That. I don't even know what kind of vine that is. Hmm, it's cool though. Walking up to a non-Texas branded door. Jody, I'm sure you'll love this. It's got kind of a, it's listed at 349, 1777 on the square footage. It's got kind of like a classic Victorian feel to it. And I don't mean just from the stained glass, but like the shiny wood floor. It's kind of like, it's like a throwback. They got crown molding. Crown molding, it's like it's a little bit grand uh, drapes, some big wood cabinets, a lot of wood accenting, and um, appears to be like some bronze finishing. A lot of windows. It was a little dark in the kitchen before I turned the lights on. I'll show you what I mean. A little dark back there. We've got little cute little windows. A little half bath. the neighbors are up to. Okay. Pantry. Good size little pantry. Nice big fridge. of your yard this area this belongs to the guys next door I guess technically you can go through here if you want hmm. growing some ivy side entrance. <laughs> Secondary little water feature. down here let's check out the garage this is a coat closet I'm sure yep coat closet some storage garage Plenty of room, but enough room for a truck. Now, 
So no bathrooms or no bedrooms downstairs. Got these others. I feel like I would have taken these with me, kids. <laughs> They're fine, but better not to turn people off on your taste than the latter. There seems to be a little bit of seam cracking here. This feels like it's about 10 years old. Um, I can't pull up stats while I'm in video mode, so that's why it's hard for me to give you definite laundry room. So we've got laundry upstairs where the bedrooms are at, and like a pretty decent sized little landing living room. Could you fit? How long is this wall? Eleven. Eleven and three quarters of my feet from here to there. Nice little punches. That's going to stay. Bell. This is the master. Cool. Got you a tub. And those vines that they started growing, it's pretty, looks good out there. This feels a little small. All right, all those are fitting. Not a lot of room, it's like a compact shower. Maybe, maybe I'm just used to a bigger shower. This feels a little small. Throne. Pretty basic setup. The storage is deeper than it would have looked. Okay, closet numero uno. I'm assuming there's another one. But I don't know. Is the only closet, but it's a decent sized one. Got kind of like this TV sitting room area adjacent to this more obvious bed placement area right there. And a little balcony. It's at the end, there's only three neighbors. Crown molding, well not crown molding, but I actually I can't remember what that's called, just molds everywhere they can put them. We've got the other two bedrooms. Feel pretty close to the same size. And then bathroom number two. It's like a I can't tell it. 
It's like a brown or tan with a little bit of peach color in it. Okay. I'll have to check the HOA, make sure that's not exorbitant. Quite a bit of room for that couch of yours, depending on where you put the television. This actually could try to fit it right there. This cat wants in. What's up, dude? Oh no. What's up, man? <laughs> Let's see how friendly he is. Too friendly. No, we don't want you in, then I can't get you out. He wants in though. <laughs> Poor old guy. Okay. Well, that's the house. Let me know what you think. I'm shutting the lights off and I'm going over to Salem Meadow. See you, see you shortly.